Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, RoomIT, back in another banger video for y'all. And today, as you can see by the keyboard cam and the controller cam, y'all, we are doing a dribble tutorial slash meta tutorial slash how to be comp in the game. Basically, I'm going to be teaching y'all how to dribble and what the meta is, how to be comp at the game, y'all. So, uh, yeah, if y'all y'all really want to get good at this game, this is the video for y'all, man. I also have some other dribble tutorials in my channel. You can scroll down in my videos. You'll see them. You could go check them out if you need any more help. If this one didn't help as much, but I'm telling y'all, this is the tutorial for you, bro. I'm telling you. Yes, you, bro. But anyways, we're just going to get into the tutorial. I'm going to stop wasting your time. Let's get it. All right, y'all. So first things first, we're just going to go over the basics how to do a crossover to the left you just want to press left on the d-pad crossover to the right right on the d-pad how to do a uh step back down on the d-pad and how to do a curry slide you want to put uh press the right and down on the d-pad in a pattern like this if you're looking at at the the controller cam you should be able to see it you should all right so it's like this and then that this and then that so if you want to do the curry slide to the right it would be the left and down the left on the d-pad and down on the uh, d-pad in a pattern like this and then the other way is right and down on the d-pad like this you can also put this move there's also a different version of this move if you run forward and do it it will make you do a running curry slide like that but uh yeah all right y'all to do a 360 on controller it's kind of simple you just want to press left down and right on the d-pad and all in a pattern if you want to do a 360 to the right like this and then to do it to the left you want to press right down and left on the pattern like this like that like that oh 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 my god drunk dribbling I, I don't play controller like that y'all so this is a little hard for me too and i'm pretty sure that's all the dribbles other than the uh this one or he uh i can i don't even know how to do it on controller you just want to hold down the run button and double tap down, uh, down on your D-pad really fast, and it'll give you the snatch back like that. And that's how you do uh, that's how you do all the basic moves on controller. All right, so basically to do the uh, what you call it to do the uh, the oldest trick in the book on controller, you just want to start spinning like this. And when you're about to shoot, you just want to come forward a little bit and then come right back as you're about to shoot. Oh, my, my ball just spawned. So you're going like this, right? And then boom, right? Th oh, so you guys will be doing 360s like this. And then boom, you'll pull it out right there. What? Just do some 360s and hold it down like when you're about right here. And then you want to continue doing the 360 motion. And that's how you do the cheese. Let me explain it one more time. Do some 360s like this. Once, you're, once you want to do it, you want to be like about right here. And then you want to finish the 360 while shooting like this right there. And it'll give you that animation. Basically, I'm going to be telling you all the current meta and to do the current meta on controller. Basically, all you want to do is the oldest trick of the book or you want to fake it out. Like if they're about, like if you do the oldest trick in the book once or twice and then they read you and start catching on to you, then you want to fake it out. Do this. Act like you're about to do it. And then once you're right here. You want to run forward and do the running curry slide and layup it. You'll get a layup every time. You guys can literally look in all my videos. I literally do this move every single time. It's rather I do a older, the oldest trick in the book or I fake it and then and then do a running curry slide like that. and then Or I'll fake it and then do the running curry slide again and then layup it. But uh, yeah, that's basically, that's basically the meta in this game. You guys only need one dribble move really in this game and it's the running curry slide. Every other move really does not matter. You could just... Only do those really two moves if you're a guard. Uh, bigs, I don't really know about bigs. I don't play bigs like that. But all the rest of the moves, like the crossovers and just the regular clear side, they're just a waste of stamina, bro. Y'all don't need to do those moves. All you guys need is the running clear side. It gives you the most space, creates the most space. You can literally go through people while you do it. It's literally insane. But uh, yeah, that kind of that kind of like does it for that kind of does it for controller. Also, I know y'all gonna ask me in this comment in the comments, so I'm gonna just tell y'all to do it anyways. How to do a Europe on controller? You want to run up, tap X, and it'll give you that animation right there, and then you just regularly shoot how you'd normally shoot. So you just run up, tap X, and then shoot it like that. And that's how you do the the Euro step. And then once you guys are get used to like the dribble moves, you can just I don't know, just you know, do your own thing on it. Just do like anything, anything that you want and you'll be, you'll be set. As simple as that, y'all. 
All right, y'all. We're gonna uh, we're gonna switch the keyboard now to show y'all how to do all these moves. We got the keyboard cam. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. For this game. If the keyboard people out there that like are struggling to win games and wondering why this game is a controller based game like controller dominates over keyboard players in this game y'all the all the best of the best uh, players in this game are on controller. So if you're on keyboard, you're not gonna you're not gonna you're not gonna be too well like me. I'm just a content creator. I'm a decent on control. I mean mouse and keyboard. But I'm not the best like I can get smacked by like literally like obviously i'll get smacked by the best of the best but anyways now let's get into the basics real quick so you know we got wasd has the uh that's how they move around duh and then to do a to do a uh crossover to the left you want to press z crossover to the right c so z c and that's how you could just spam it do whatever you want with it same with controller uh, on the left or the right d-pad to do a step back you just want to press x to do a uh, snatch back, you just want to double tap, uh, double press X while holding sprint. And then, I don't even think you have to, I don't know. I don't even think you have to uh, actually hold sprint. But how to do a curry slide on uh, mouse and keyboard, you just want to press C and X in a pattern. CX. And then the other way around, ZX. CX, ZX. CX, ZX. And you could just spam it like this, y'all. Like that you can just spam it and to do a running curry slide you just run up run and do the same thing so the balls in your left hand you want to run up and zx if it's in your right hand run up cx and uh yeah to do a 360 all uh, you want to press is zx and c in a pattern if the ball is in your left hand so cxz i mean zxc and then cxz zx and c like that C, X, and Z. And that's how you do 360s. Alright, y'all. Now for the now for the oldest trick in the book on mouse and keyboard, all you want to do is run and press W A S D W A S D. And then when you want to do it, your character will be facing like right here. And then you just and then you just fade it and continue the 360 like this. Just like that, right there. You continue the 360. Do not do not stop pressing W A S D. Alright. But uh yeah. That's basically, like I told you, the current meta in this game, how to get the most points, the most wins. You just do that. If if they read you, you fake it. Go for a running curry side. Take the layup. Uh, or you can go like this. Fake it. Act like you're going back. And then go this way again. Take the layup. Boom. That's easy points, y'all. There's nothing else I can really, I can really teach y'all other than just like start. You got to start practicing, obviously. Use those two moves. If you really want to combo up. And get like flashy with it. Take ankles. You really can. If you want, if y'all really want to take ankles, all you guys need to do is the running curry slide and then a step back. That's it. Running curry slide, step back. Oh, step back. Running curry slide, step back. That's how you take ankles in this game, y'all. Nothing else really, unless they are on low stamina and you're just spamming this like right here. That they can only get their ankles broken if they're on low stamina with that. But all these other drill moves that I'm doing right here, like the 360, uh, the the crossovers, like this, crossovers, all that, bro. They do not matter. Like, in this game, they do not matter. All you need is the running curry slide and just motion, 360 motion. That's all you need. Oh, yeah, and also how to Euro step on keyboard and mouse. All you want to do is run up and tap E once. And it's going to make you do that motion right there. And then you want to time your shot. And it will make you do it. You could just do it in fast motion. That's what it looks like. Tappy and then time it. That's another thing. Uh, also, another thing is if you're stuck in a position like this, this works on keyboard and mouse and uh, controller. So it doesn't matter. Like you all could do it on this on controller. If you're if you're like in a position like this and you can't do nothing, you can euro, euro step out of this, guys. You can just tap E and it'll make you do a hop like this. And then you just time your layup and you're good. Literally, this helps me out so much. Every time I'm stuck in a predicament like that, I literally just Euro step out of it and boom, that's easy free points. They probably thought they had you on clamps, but little did you know, you can just pop one out like that, man. And one more thing, if you guys like, uh, if you guys kind of want to look flashy while dribbling, you, uh, see like this, like these just regular, like this, a regular crossover. If you want to make it look like this, you just do while you're about to press C, just do a 360 motion like this. And literally, once you're facing this way, you just do that. Right? You do a 360 motion. You stop right here. And then you just do a crossover. And it'll look like this. 
and I'm pretty sure you could just do it with any move really and it'll just it'll just look flashy one second like if you just do it like th like this like 360 and then that 360 and this I, it doesn't really look flashy with the curry slides but it, I really just only use it for uh, these right here because it kind of makes it look like a 360 but like you don't know which way you're going so I kind of just do this until I wait has he go back here boom do a little fade or something maybe they'll fall back you know you just want to be very unpredictable y'all in this game you just want to be very unpredictable if you're not unpredictable in this game people are going to read you easily and you're just going to lose man there's that's really all there is to it you want to make sure you know where you're lapping I do this a lot in game also, y'all. If you want to, if you say if like your defender is really clamping you up hard, you want to go over here, you want to take a left, and then you want to take a right and lay up. And it will get you open almost every single time. Even if it's a even if it's a red, they will still go in. Not all the time they won't go in, but it's like a 50, it's like a it's like a I wanna say like a it's kinda like 50 50. It's like a 50 50, y'all, that it will go in. But uh yeah, that's really all I got for this video, y'all. Other than, uh, other than comboing up, we you don't really, you're not really supposed to combo up in this game anymore, y'all. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I love y'all and peace.